Welcome to Technical Studies. Imagine that, you are facing in the north direction, the back of your head is to the south, your right hand is to the east direction, and the left hand is to the west direction. In this video, basically, you will learn, the difference between a horizontal rolling and a vertical rolling of a pipe in an isometric drawing. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe and comment. In the description, I have added links for drawings and documents related to fabrication. Let us have some basic idea of the drawing. Item number one is 8 inch pipe. BE is bevel end. Schedule 20. SMLS stands for seamless. Item number 2 is an equal T, bevel end, schedule 20. What is WPB? W means weldable, P means pressure, B is grade B, refers to the minimum yield strength. Item number 3 is 45 degree long radius elbow. Note that, there are four numbers 45 degree elbows are there. Item number 4 is a 90 degree, long radius elbow, and the quantity is 1. In the drawing, you can see the terms like FW and FFW, what is this? FW stands for field weld. FFW means, final fit weld. Is that, an additional length of pipe is, added to the calculated dimension, at an FFW for field trim allowance. As per the drawing, the length of this pipe is 7,105 mm. But, we will fabricate a minimum length of a 7,205 mm pipe. Here, the pipe comes up and goes to the south direction. What is this vertical shade? This vertical shade means, as the pipe goes in the south direction, the pipe goes in the up direction also. Check the rolling degree. Both these elbows are 45 degree. What does this triangle 1 east to 500 mean? It means the pipe is slopping towards the north by 1 mm in every 500 mm long. Here, the shade is horizontal. Means, the pipe is rolled horizontally. As the pipe goes to the south, it turns 45 degree to the west. Means, the rotation of the pipe is southwest. Check the degree of the elbow. What is the conclusion? The horizontal shade represents horizontal rolling, and a vertical shade means the pipe rolls vertically. Anyway, sometimes the draftsmen make mistakes in these shades. So I recommend always checking the elevations of the offsets at both ends before the fit-up. Please comment. 